Good morning, dears. How are you all? Hope you all are very fine. Uh, shall we move on to the topic? Okay. Before that, get ready with your pencil and eraser. Okay, dears. Okay. So, please all of you take page number forty-eight. Okay, page number forty-eight. In that, today we are going to learn about the names of fruits and vegetables. Okay, okay, dears. Do you like vegetables? Yes. So most vegetables are naturally low in fat and calories. Okay. So daily add vegetables in your food. Okay, dears. Now I am reading. Listen carefully. Okay. Okay. Fill in the blanks with. The names of vegetables and fruits given in the pictures. First one, I am reading. Okay. One evening, Anita went to the market with her mother to buy vegetables and fruits. They went to the marketplace and first found a woman selling. Look at the picture, dears. What is this? What vegetable is this? Can you name it? Potato, right? Yes. So, P O T A T O. What is this? Potato. Okay, all of you, right? Potato. P O T A T O. Very good. And then they bought. A bag full of them. Okay, so they bought bag full of potato. Next, they saw a man selling ripe, juicy. What is this, dears? Red in color, right? Looking nice. What is this? Tomato. That is potato. This one is potato, and this is tomato. So. You have to write here tomato. What is the spelling of tomato? T O M A T O. What is this? Tomato. They bought a handful of them. They bought a handful of tomato. Then they saw an old lady. Selling, what is this? What is this? Carrot, very good, right? Carrot. Rabbits like carrot very much. Do you know? Yes. Okay. So then they saw an old lady selling carrot. So we have to write C A R R O T. What is this? Carrot. Anita mother said that they should buy some so she can make alva from them and serve the family. Okay, with this carrot they plan to make alva from for the family. They bought six of them and move on to the next shop. So how much they bought? They bought six carrot. Next one. The next section of the market was filled with fruit shops. Okay, the first shopkeeper was selling golden color ripe. What is this? Mango. Very good. So you all like mangoes? Yes. Yes. So here we have to write mango. M A N G O E S mangoes selling golden colored ripe mangoes. Okay, and Anita wanted to mil make milkshake out of them, so they bought three. How much mangoes they bought? Three mangoes. The next 
shopkeeper was selling delicious what is this have you ever tasted this yes what is this grapes very good dears g r a p e s grapes they bought two bunches of them anita and her mother happily returned home with their bags filled with a delicious fruits and healthy vegetables okay so totally these are two fruits what are they mangoes and grapes and what are the vegetables they bought carrot then potato and tomato am i right yes shall we move on to the next dears yes so all of you take page number 50 worksheet 1 okay here is a amazing interesting story okay do you all like stories yes yes okay so look at this read the story use the information in the story to answer the questions okay okay yes the lion and the mouse how many of them know this story most of them know yes okay i am reading a little faster you follow me okay a lion was awakened from his sleep by a mouse running over his face rising up with anger he caught the mouse and was about to kill him then the mouse said if you will only spare my life i will be sure to repay your kindness the lion laughed and let him go it is so happened that shortly after this incident the lion was caught by some hunters they bound him with strong ropes to the ground the mouse hearing the lion's roar came to help the lion the mouse bit the rope with his teeth and set the lion free the mouse then told the lion you laughed at the idea that i would ever be able to help you now you know that it is possible for even a small mouse to help a big lion have you understood this story dears okay i am giving a just giving a gist okay what is in this story is a lion was awakened by his sleep by a mouse because it is running over his face face of the lion so lion got anger and it was about to kill the mouse okay but the mouse requested to spare his life and sure to repay for that help okay so and after that lion laughed at him and let him go okay and after that suddenly one day lion was caught by some hunters okay at that time mouse bit the rope with his teeth and set the lion free okay this is the story and now we have to answer this questions okay now i am reading listen carefully what caused the lion to wake up from his sleep can you answer me he was hungry he was angry a mouse ran over his face what is the correct answer yes a mouse ran over his face then why did the lion laugh at the mouse first one the mouse was telling funny jokes he wanted to let him go he did not think the small mouse could ever help him answer is c he did not think the small mouse could ever help him okay and third one what lesson did the lion learn from the mouse even a lion can help a mouse the lion could have eaten the mouse 
it is possible for even a small mouse to help a big lion. What is the answer? Yes, it is possible for even a small mouse to help a big lion. Very good. And last question. Based on the events that happened in the story, what would most likely happen next? The lion would thank the mouse. The lion would eat the mouse. The mouse would eat the lion. If you do any help means immediately that person will accept that help and say thank and they will thank you. Right? So, likewise, what is the answer here? The lion would thank the mouse. Option A. Okay, dears. Very good. Have you all understood this? Yes? Yes. So, this is our today's class. Okay? And please read this story. This story, right? The lion and the mouse. So, read this carefully. And read aloud. Okay? Read three or four times. And this is your homework for this week. Okay, dears? Okay, we will meet in the interaction section and if you have any doubts, I will clarify in that section. Okay, dears? Okay, thank you. Take care.